everyone and thank you for joining me on a shell finding adventure let's see what we can find on this wet morning i think i see a moon snail oh wow oh wow that's actually a pretty decent moon snail for our starter one wow Woo! definitely impressed with that that's a good size Ooh, i almost stepped on it the first cowrie today will be yep empty a little blue cowrie Wow, that's a nice one. He's a bit of a long fella. Well, I saw that orange thing from kind of far away. Let's take a look at it. Oh, it is empty. Wow, I did not have good expectations today uh, because of the weather and the, and the low tide isn't that low, but gosh, wow, that is a very nice one to find. Big old spotted deer cowrie. Pick it up before the waves come. Ooh, there we go. Hey, hey it's a little clandestine. I feel like I haven't found a clandestine or at least a nice one for a while. So, hey, that is very, very good. Very good. I'm sorry. Words are hard today, everyone. Well, kind of in the same spot as the deer cowrie. I almost missed it. Oh, wow. That's kind of got a very interesting lip. I don't know if it's like broken or just continued growing or, or something. Yeah, cool little triton shell. Goes with the cone shell I just picked up just then. Very nice. You're joking! Oh, get up before the wave comes! <laughs> I thought this was a rock! What? Look at this! I never have much luck with finding little teeny tiny magnificent volutes. They're always uh, got crabs in them or something. But look at that one! Yes, there is a break there, but my goodness, what a cute little shell! I like that one. That is super cool! Oh, I'm finding a lot in this one spot. A wave just exposed this. Ah, oh, pain! Well, it doesn't have the tip, but all together, a pretty nice zebra volute. <laughs> Look at where my feet are. I was about to stand on it. My God, that was just very unexpected. It looks like a pretty old one. Yeah, it's empty. Oh my God. Wow, uh, waking up early on a rainy morning really paid off, huh? Wow, it's a bit longer and shorter than an Arabian. I think it might be an Eglantina. Uh, it's hard to tell though, but wow. Just a bit of an old Eglantina. That's so nice. Wow, I think I almost missed a cat carry next to that Eglantina. Let's check it out. There we go. Oh, there, there we go. <laughs> oh, wow. That is actually a very nice looking cat carry as well. Oh my goodness. Certainly finding all the good things. There we go. Little cat carry next to big brother Eglantina. Oh, well, look at that one. I do believe this one's quite of a, not a rare one, but quite a difficult one to find. Um, yeah, small toothed cowrie. Let me take it back to the water so I can get the sand off of it. Um, sometimes also called a fringe cowrie, I think. Yeah, very, very cool. Ah, oh, there we go. It's got nice little pink tips on the sides of it. Nice pattern on top. Very, very adorable. It's a little hard to see with all that ripply water, but I think that's a snakehead down there. Pretty sure anyway. Yep, it doesn't feel squishy. Woo, first snakehead today. I gotta say, that's a pretty nice looking one. Wow. Ooh, let's check out that crown cone down there. It's, ooh, oh. Wow! I got very excited. Look at the nice little points on the crown there. Gosh, that's a gorgeous crown cone. Wow! Oh, I definitely like all the white points on top of it. It's got some very nice texture and bumps. Oh, good one. Oh, so first thing I see another very pretty looking crown cone. Oh, yeah, definitely, uh, definitely looks empty. Snails usually like to keep all the rocks out of their shells, so, uh, that's a cool one. And that looks like a nice zebra shell. Or at least what I call a zebra shell. Um, yeah, they all have different patterns and stuff on them. They all look kind of pretty amazing. So yeah, I'm gonna take that one with me. Oh, I see chunky white cowrie teeth down there. Let's take a look. It's a, yes, as expected. There we go, a ring top cowrie. You know, I've only ever found like one of these empty over the last three months. And then today and two days ago or three days ago, bam, just all together, a couple of ring top cowries. Well, I wasn't going to give this one a second thought, but then I kind of saw the purple in its mouth. Oh, wow. 
Oh, wow. Yes, definitely empty, I do believe. Oh, my goodness. I am 100% certain that I have not found a shell like this before. I mean, no, it does look terribly impressive on top, although I do quite like its little pointy bits there. But gosh, look at that pretty purple inside of it. Ooh. Oh, is that whole? Oh, it is whole. Oh my goodness. Ooh, it's, it's got like the blackest of black sludge. That is a completely different color of sand than what we have here right now. Wow, that must have come up from like that deep part of the sea. Wow. Nice little triton shell. Got some, uh, got some very big need of a cleanup. Oh, the black stuff is still coming out of it. My goodness. Still, that's a pretty cool shell. My goodness, all the, uh, all, the rough, all the rough waves out there must have dredged it up from the bottom somewhere. Well, at first I just saw this, another little zebra shell. Nice and different from my first one, that's pretty cool. And then this, just a bit of colour in the sand. Oh, it feels whole. Oh, it is whole. Oh, wow, look at that cool scallop. Kind of like two-toned or something. Yeah, that's definitely a cool one. Wow, look at that. That's a bit different. Hello. Oh, it's all. Oh, oh, no, it's missing the tip. What? What the hell is this one? Oh, my God. Wow. I can't believe it is. It's like some kind of turbo shell. It kind of looks like a gra uh, like the shape of a giant green turbo shell, turbo shell, but it's obviously not green. Sorry, I'm getting a bit tongue-tied. I'm very excited. Missing the tip, but oh my goodness, look at that one. I've been having some very good luck with these like little like sand waves right at the back of the beach. Can't believe something like this was here. Oh my God. So I just picked up this limpet and I was gonna make a joke like, oh, only limpets. <laughs> and then I actually saw a nice shell that I like. <laughs> wow, look at this one. That is a very, very pretty looking bubble shell. Very, very big too. I have heard that if you shine a UV light on these, they do glow uh, like, a, like a pink or an orange or something. So yeah, that is super cool. Definitely like that one. Oh, hello, pretty moon snail. You ain't got anything in there? Not empty, yes. Oh, wow, yes, that is quite a pretty moon snail, I think. Got a nice kind of like band of pink kind of going down next to that white stripe. Cool. Well, here I was trying to find a way through these slippery rocks and um, I just looked down and noticed it. <laughs> oh my God, lucky. Yes, it is a cherry cowrie. Hold on, phone, can you please focus? There we go. Yeah, just a very nice cherry cowrie. That color on top is gorgeous. You know, that's what I kind of missed about going to Coolum. I didn't find any cherry cowries there, so wow. Very nice to finally have another cherry. Ooh, ooh, a little telescoped dove shell, I think. I do like these ones. <laughs> My gosh, that's a lot of sea bush. Wow. You know, I, I don't really do anything with sea bush when I get it. It goes in the garden. I'm not sure if I should keep that, but wow, that is a mighty large size of sea bush. Ah yes, and here we see the orangest bolus in its natural habitat. Ooh, what kind of a, what kind of thing was this orange bolus from? I've got no idea. Is it, does it bounce? Uh, uh, <laughs> there we go, the uh, latest strange collection from the beach. Ooh, yes. Been finding several blue cowries today. Only one each of the uh, snakehead and erosa so far, so uh, that's a bit different. Usually they're my more common finds, but hey, blue cowrie, that's very nice. Also called the yellow toothed cowrie. Oh, yes, that looks like a big old limpet. Oh, it is. Ooh. Oh, yes, a nice big limpet for the limpet lovers at home. This one still looks pretty cool because it's got its uh, patterns on it. Oh, cool. What's that? Oh, yeah. I think I saw one of these like um, a week or two ago with a hermit crab in it. It's some kind of horn shell. I forget which one exactly. Gosh, that's really cool to find one for myself. I definitely like the black and white shells. Awesome. 
What's that little calorie? Oh, it's elbow deep. Oh, 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 wow, look at that one. It's a Labralinata calorie, but gosh, I've never seen one so dark on top. That is super cool. So, I mean, at least I think it's a Labralinata. Um, these ones, their common name is yellow tinged calorie. For a long time, I thought it was lined mouth calorie, but there we go. This one certainly looks way too dark to be yellow tinged, doesn't it? <laughs> Ah, uh, do you see what I see just sitting right there like it was placed by the hand of God? Okay, I'm being a bit too dramatic, but oh my goodness, look at this cute little strombus. Wow, I was not expecting that to be just sitting on top of the pile. Very eye-catching, very, very gorgeous. Oh, big old scallop right there. I found out the name of these scallops, the common name anyway. They're a scaly scallop, sometimes called a livid fan scallop. That's pretty cool. And <laughs> just spotted a very, very big moon snail right there near it. Wow, that is a very chunky big moon snail. Cool. I just saw that one come in on a wave. <laughs> what the heck is inside of this? Some kind of bush? Wow, that is a very, very pretty bonnet. All whole, all together, nice colors. Some kind of mystery frond thing in there. Wow, very happy with that one. What the actual heck is this blue thing? It's got goop coming out of it. Is it like dead? I mean, is it? Ooh, ooh, I'm scared of it. What? I totally want that, but I have no idea. Is this alive or not? I mean, this foamy stuff makes me think no. God, it's beautiful. It's like purpley blue and purple. Wow, that is so cool. I am so unsure about that stuff coming out of the aperture though. I mean, I'm not sure. I certainly love this shell, but I'm just not sure. So uh, when in doubt, it, it still looks like there is a creature in there, dead or alive. So when in doubt, put it back is what I say. Unfortunately, this beautiful shell will be tossed back into the water somewhere. There you go, buddy. Oh, it's floating. It's floating? Is it a floaty shell? Is that what it's supposed to do? Oh, okay. Oh, Ooh, look at that. Some kind of thorny oyster, but the color on it is fan-freaking-tastic. Holy guacamole. Yeah, definitely like the look of that one. That is super cool. Gosh, I was not planning on micro-shelling on the rack line today, but what? Look at this little teeny-weeny Hebrew cone. That's got to be the second smallest I've ever found. I think I've only found one smaller than that. Oh, God, I just love Hebrew cones. What is that strombus number two today? Ooh, it had some stuff on it. Ooh, yes, that's got some nice dark color on it. Wow, I'll definitely take a nice strombus like that any day. Awesome. Oh, a bit of a white sand snail. Oh, wow. It's not actually white at all. It's like a gray, bluey color with a white back on it. Wow, that's super cool. It just has like a two-tone thing going on. I like that one. Oh, wow, probably the last find today. That is a very pretty operculum. Kind of like a door for those uh, big turbo shells and stuff. That's a nice one though. That's got a good swirl on it. So here are the shell finds and oh my goodness, there are so many. So if you like them, please hit that like button and maybe subscribe to see more. But for now, let's talk about a favorite and the favorite isn't here. The favorite is that little blue uh, snail that I very rudely tossed back into the ocean. But uh, barring that, I, I don't know what to pick because there's this very nice turbo shell, which I've never found before. This lovely magnificent volute, which I just, I love, I adore that. I just like how the small ones are so, so cute and adorable. Um, there's a very nice little small toothed cowrie here, the fringe cowrie. I also really like this kind of almost glossy labralinata. Very green in color, very green for the uh, so-called yellow tinged cowrie. Um, and I also really like that kind of 
bluey gray flat sand snail behind it as well so i'm not really sure what my favorite is so please tell me in the comments which ones were your favorites and thank you so much for watching everyone bye guys